what's happening musically in your life right now? What's this year going to be like? Well, uh, I just I just came here from recordings. We we recorded for my new band Syra yeah. uh, in Sweden in, in Gothenburg. Um, that's going to be out in fall. Uh, it features former In Flames members and uh, like uh, Jasper and, and Peter from from In Flames, formerly In Flames, and Jake from Amaranth. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be out on, on Universal Records. October, November, I guess. Okay. And meanwhile, I'll be touring with uh, Timo Talki, Rhapsody, mm -hmm. uh, Rhapsody, Stradivarius. Yeah, Stradivarius. Yeah. And yeah, and that's that's that, and then uh -huh. a little here and there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, clinics. Yeah. What's your approach to clinics? What's what's the most important message you have to convey to to those who attend your clinics? That's a very good question. Um, a few years back, it was all about um, advanced drummers and really helping people like to, to, to make that jump from like, okay, I know what I'm doing, but I, I want to get like more insight or I want to have new concepts and stuff. But I actually nowadays, I keep shifting my attention more and more again to younger drummers because I just see the importance. You have to, uh, the most important thing is to have kids in the audience and to, to, to show them how much, how great that instrument yeah. is. You know, how much fun it is to play drums. Yeah. And um, so, that's why I try to, it's always this, this thin line. You, you, you don't want to make it too technical and too insider, but it also should not be boring for somebody advanced. So I'm trying to hit that middle. Yeah. So to me, uh, I have a couple of things that I, that, ha that have helped me for real. And mostly, to be honest, it's nothing that I, like, I came up with on my own. It's like, uh, I, I cannot take credit for it. It's mostly Gary Chafee, his patterns books and his whole linear approach and everything. But again, if they don't know it, and I'm not claiming it's like my stuff, I'm telling. I got this straight from, from the books and stuff. But and this is what it did for me. What it did for me, yeah. and to introduce people, and especially metal drummers, yeah. who are very focused just on singles, mm -hmm. singles up and down. Yeah. So, no, no, there's so much more you can do with the instrument. You should really try to get this stuff happening. It, some of the most important rudiments happen, some independence, a little bit of styles, to be able to play a little bit of jazz, a little bit of Latin, you know, to, to you know, get a, get a, a bigger outlook on the instrument. So this is what I'm trying. And then I have a um, sort of my thing, but which is also very similar to, to uh, Thomas Lang, Mark Minim or anybody else. I have my own system of numbers, like uh, I have numbers assigned to certain licks in my head. So if you tell me play five or something, I have one or two things I might do with five immediately. Same goes for seven, eight, any number, and then any number bigger you can just combine them. And then you can just play anything on top of anything. And that alone gives you work for yeah. 10 lifetimes if you want. Yeah, because it's modular. You can, exactly. you can change so modules. You can expand you know. it, yeah. you can change modules, yeah. you can do what yeah. Gary Chafee called yeah. stacking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, like you probably know that. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, shifting yeah. them, like instead of going A, B, A, B, go to A, B, B, A, yeah. you know. And um, it's endless. And it's it's eye-opening because it's to 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 us that's easy stuff like uh, as a con as a concept easy but to somebody who just thinks com compounds like right hand right foot left hand right hand together and then da -da 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 -da, that stuff can be like wow you know that's what it did for me when i was a kid you know taking the, the chafee stuff like this wow it's amazing yeah. you can do with an instrument yeah. you know yeah. so that's i'm trying to get that across mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and but then of course there's always people asking me up about, about foot technique and stuff mm -hmm. and of course i tell them what i can tell them but i think that's always a little bit hard because there's no magic pill it's very individual yeah that's it it's very individual and it comes down to practice you know yeah. and that's the thing i can't explain um linear concepts and stuff and somebody can go home and three four days later yeah. play some nice linear things that they never played before in their life but i cannot tell somebody you move your foot like this yeah. and that and four days later they play yeah. 200 ppm yeah. that just takes work yeah. work and work and work yeah. so i know a lot of people they want the magic pill you just cannot give it to them because mm -hmm. it doesn't exist yeah. <laughs> yeah but of course if you 
meet a person like that, you know, you know immediately they're not cut out for this because, you know. <laughs> of course, in a way. But yeah. on the other hand, it is a human thing. You wish it yeah, existed. Yeah, yeah. Of, you course. Know? of course. But you just have to accept that it doesn't. Yeah. And that's the thing. You have to find, this is a very big one. You have to find the joy in the way. Mm -hmm. You have to realize that it's yeah. not about a goal. Yeah. But it, this took me very long. And that's whatever. We're talking like a few years back. At most that I realized this. I always thought it was about getting somewhere. Yeah. And I just realized lately, recently, I will never get anywhere yeah. because my mind is always 10 steps ahead. I'm, I'm arriving somewhere and I already know, okay, that's that. But it's you're thinking about the goal, you're always frustrated because yeah. exactly. you're always far from it. You will never reach it. Yeah, of course, so, you have to set goals for yourselves. Exactly. But then you have to understand that the fun should be yeah. in, in just working towards them. Yeah. It's not about reaching them. Yeah. That is a, as if life was about dying. Yeah. Life is about yeah. living. What you do up yeah. until then. Especially but it took me so long to understand yeah. that. You would not believe Especially given the fact that, well, same thing for me. Uh, given the fact that it's never just that <laughs> one day on the first of whatever, whatever year it is, I've mastered, you know, yeah. the swivel technique. I can do 250 or yeah. whatever, you know. It's like, one day you just realize it's happened already. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You know? Of course. You, you don't know it along the way. No, 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 no of course. It's, it's just, just, just one day you do it and suddenly you, you're just doing it. Yeah, yeah, you know? of course. <laughs> That's the way it works. Of course. And <laughs> you know? Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, it is. You're right. You're absolutely right. It's all about the way, the journey. Yeah. And you have it to is. learn to enjoy that, but it's the hardest thing yeah. to, to, to come to that conclusion, or at least it was for me. Yeah. And I'm, just, I'm, I'm still working on that. Because yeah. still to me, it's like, um, you work and you work and you stop and like it's easy to drive yourself crazy with it too we've but you need probably to, yeah sorry you yeah. need to learn to enjoy yeah, it. Yeah. that's it we've probably already discussed this next question a bit but maybe you can expand on that what do you get out of drums what does it does the instrument do to you okay it's another very good question it's um you know those those really important things in life you actually realize them when they're not there yeah. you know and that's what happens for me with drums it's um i get a lot of joy when i'm playing and practicing and i know i have to do it but i really understand how much i need it yeah. and what kind of joy it gives me if i just don't do it for four or five days <laughs> which rarely ever happens yeah. but um it's such a part of my life and of what i'm doing that uh, I just need it. Yeah. I need to do it. It drives yeah. me crazy if I can't yeah. do it. Yeah. You know. Right. And uh, so it's it's stupid in a way, but that's that's what it does. It's I need to do it. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's just there. It, it's it's of course it, it gives me a lot of a lot of fun and pleasure in my life. But it's more like it's I just gotta do it. But what I'm and there's another interesting thing. Lately, I'm trying to find some sort of. Um, or I'm finding some sort of meditational value to, to practicing mm -hmm. more and more the older yeah. I get. Yeah. Like just to, to, you know, have an exercise going through it and just get lost in it. I had it when I was a kid. I lost it a little bit on the way. Yeah. And now I'm, I managed to get yeah. a little bit back to it. It's yeah. very nice. Yeah. You know? Mm. Yeah, good. Okay. Most 